Uh, next, Senator King. Um, you may be muted, Senator King. Oh, I got it. Okay, uh, great. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I, I want to thank the witnesses uh, first for their uh, patience this morning and their thoroughgoing answers. This has been a long hearing, and and uh, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the fact that uh, although you all are no longer, uh, other than the, the chief in Washington, no longer in your positions, uh, you've come forward to, to give us the benefit of, of your observations. It seems to me one of the clear, uh, and there's no, I'm not gonna plow this ground again, but one of the clear uh, uh, pieces of information we've learned today is, a, is an intelligence failure. Not necessarily a failure of intelligence, but a failure to communicate intelligence. And uh, I think that's something uh, that we all need to, to think about. And you can be very helpful to us in, uh, in, in suggesting what should be the, the chain of communication in terms of, of, uh, of intelligence. You can't adequately prepare if you don't have the information. Uh, and it clearly uh, seems to me there were some failures. Uh, Chief Sund, I have a, a a specific question for you, and it's more forward-looking, and I, and I but, but I'd appreciate your insights. The question is, how do we protect the Capitol from either a, an angry mob or probably more likely uh, one or two or three uh, malignant uh, uh, actors without turning it into a fortress? How do we allow the American people to go in the rotunda to tour the Capitol to picnic on the grounds to uh, play with their uh, kids. Uh, that It seems to me that going forward, that's really one of the challenges. We want security, but we don't, I, I, I would hate to see the U.S. Capitol turned into a fortress. Your thoughts, Mr. Sund? I think you need your um, mic on there. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll go back to your original comment with the with the intelligence and the in the communications. I think we have the process in place for when we have credible intelligence, especially high level credible intelligence, to quickly get to where it needs to be. I think my big concern is, you know, on the on the collection, on how wide we're casting the net to collect uh, to collect our intelligence that would have revealed this was coming, uh, and we are facing this type of mass insurrection. Uh, I, I definitely want to say the Capitol Police is well versed, well trained on handling what you're talking about—a a Mumbai style attack. Uh, a couple of uh, you know um, uh, attackers armed. Um, uh, active shooter events, things like that. Those are the type of events that we are ready for. It is the thousands of people that are storming the Capitol that creates a, a big issue with us. So when you talk about, you know, physical security, and I'd mentioned it in one of, in my opening statement and one of the initial questions, I think there are options for maintaining a uh, an open environment, an open campus type of environment, while putting some substantial uh, physical security uh, measures in place, both for the building, the skin of the building, as well as uh, farther out. You know, time and distance is our best friend, uh, and the most important thing is to you know provide some kind of protection farther out, so the officers have more. Uh, you know more time to deal with it but that's something that I think should be discussed uh, in a closed or classified session I, I, I understand but uh, and I hope that, that that is a discussion madam chair that we can have I think that's a, a very important uh, uh, because we, we just uh, as I say we, we don't want the United States Capitol to be uh, so protected that it's inaccessible to the American people uh, on, amplify on your on your intelligence. It seems to intelligence answer. It seems to me you're saying we it's communicated adequately, but we didn't have the collection that we needed. For example, the the Norfolk, Virginia letter. Uh, uh, is it how do, how does it get filtered and where does it get filtered? Uh, again, the the North, Norfolk uh, the Norfolk field office letter. That's something something to consider because even. The, on the 5th, at noon on the 5th, I held a um, joint conference call with the members of the board, uh, my executive team, uh, a, a dozen of the top law enforcement and military officials from Washington, D.C., where we discussed the upcoming events on the 6th, the upcoming events on the, uh, for the inauguration, any kind of threats, any kind of issues we may have. And even though I had, you know, we had the director of the field office the, uh, for the uh, Washington field office of the FBI, nothing was mentioned about it. Uh, so I think my big uh, big point is I think we need to look out. There's s significant evidence coming out that the insurrection that occurred on the 6th was planned, 
coordinated well in advance, coordinated almost to the point where you're looking between number of states where you're, you're having events coordinated. And it's that detection that I think would have been key to putting the uh, effective security in place for, the, for this event. Finally, when we're, when we're talking about uh, providing this, this level of security, do you, is there a playbook? Is there a, uh, uh, a, a, a contingency plan that's literally sitting on a shelf somewhere that says uh, demonstrations around the Capitol, here's what you do? It, I mean, some of the timing things, for example, the deployment of the National Guard might have been faster had there been a pre determined uh, set of phone numbers, actions, steps uh, to be taken. Does that exist? And if not, should it exist? To the level where you're including the National Guard, there is a process where we handle uh, special events and demonstrations. Uh, but I, I tend to agree that we need to streamline the process that we request the National Guard in the future. And, and yeah, because clearly there was a important, there was a delay there that was an important part of the uh, important part of the, the, the response at the time. Uh, Madam Chair, I, again, I want to thank these witnesses. I think they've really made a contribution, uh, and uh, they made a contribution when they were uh, serving in their uh, respective positions. Uh, thank you. I yield back. Thank you.